Hello everyone and welcome back to another video to design Crusader King and today we're back at it again with their brother Krieg. This time I hope I said it right, that one guy in my comment section that told me how to say it. But anyway, in today's video, uh, you know, we've already done most of these guys. We've done Austria, we've done Russia, we never want to do France. Because I do not want to live in the world where I must be French, so... I'm sorry to all those French people that suffer from that. But from today's video, I thought, you know, we've done a lot. So why don't we do the Russian Republic? So there are some definite problems that we start off with. But I'm just going to jump in and hope for the best. Because, oh boy, I already know what path I want to take, but I don't really know how to get there. We're just going to see how well it goes. Anyway, we'd start off with a couple of problems here. We start off with the ethnic conflicts political divide, beacon of democracy, and the conservative high command. So, all of these kind of suck, except the beacon of democracy, which I believe if we want to go communism, we immediately lose. So, oh well, let's go begin the Duma campaign. So, as Russia, we actually do start off with some decent uh, stuff. We have some good research focus, uh, some good research bonuses here. But, we also have plenty of factories. Sadly, I don't even think it's enough uh, Austria's stuff. But, you know, we don't need to compare for now. We, we don't need to compare and contrast. Let's get some bread here, you know. Let's get some good stuff. Let's get some factories really in the heart of Russia. And some military factories all around Ukraine. A chaotic republic. The fate is with us. So, one of the main things I want to do is tied with the Russian Social Democratic Labor Party, which is the this Russian Social Democratic Labor Party. We're going to be siding with the communists to incite some of that communist revolution. <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. Let's start chaotic. Let's start chaotically bringing down the world. Lenin's path to victory. Yeah, so in this timeline, despite it being 1936, Lenin isn't dead. Irakil, Irakli, I can't spell that name, represents the more moderate block of the R or something. He is running for president alongside Lenin. We're not sure he steps up out of the election to stop splitting our support. You can either do this through diplomatically, through diplomatic options or slander. But either way, it is a representation of the deep divide in our party. I see. I see. So uh, what this game is telling me, I might have to shoot him. I'm gonna make peace. I, actually, no. I'm, I'm actually gonna commit slander. Alright, so what now? Do I just have to finish this? Is that it? Because there's nothing I can do to support myself. There, there really is nothing here. Prioritizing the workers, and I, I think that's it. That's all my choices. And now I just wait. Everything's kind of falling apart right now. Oh... That's what this is. All right. Yeah, okay. So we kind of actually... We need to win. We need to win uh, quite fast. Okay, I did not see this thing. I did not know this was a thing. But now I do. So let's just hope for the best here. The results are in. And the radicals have won. And we now have the Menshevik victory. So now this is where we can actually start doing a bit... A lot of our focuses. Such as remembering the front, which remembers the front, and dealing with Habsburg hegemony. What the fuck? Oh well, let's start doing it. Uniting the parties, which will give me a hundred political power. And I really hope that Mr. Lenin does not start shooting a bunch of people. What is this? It's an it's a diverse and unstable coalition. We must unite it to achieve Lenin's social revolution through unification or force. Our current influence in the party is 177. If we have not united by the time the oh oh my okay, so I think I know what I gotta do. I could do Lenin the Iron Hearted. Uh I don't think it actually matters which one you do, as long as you do one. Oh man, do I really wanna be a dictator, but but maybe maybe we gotta be friends you know i think i think we gotta be friends and oh good god what is that stability the mensheviks have had a secret meet you know what fuck you then screw you guys you know what you had a secret meeting that's it i'm killing all of you 
I'm not even gonna do a focus for right now because I think I have to just focus on this. Oh, wait. Someone got arrested successfully. Someone... Oh. <laughs> Operation to assassinate Trotsky. Gotta make sure we kill our boy Trotsky. But we assassinated Trotsky. Triumph over Marx. Fuck the English. Huge decrease. Mmm. They say it's an internal civil war when it comes to Russia. It's all an internal civil war when it comes to Russia. All we have to do is continue trying to arrest them. And I think we should be fine. Oh yeah, let's also try and get Cass. Because Cass is going to help us quite a lot, needless to say. Arrested successfully. There we go. Complete unification. We're totally unified, guys. Ignoring literally everything that just happened. We totally unified. Oh god, they went national syndicalism. Uh-oh. They went... They went down the, um, the demonetization route, pretty sure. Wait, where's Sing Kang? Sing Kang is in here and Tibet has a child? <gasps> Why do they have a child running them? Alright, the Dalai Lama's a, a, a fucking kid. How did that even, how did, who agreed to that? Alright, you know, fuck it. I'm, I'm just done understanding that. What is, what is this? Industrialization of Serbia. Oh, these are missions. Oh, God. Constructing defensive line. Wait a minute. What do I do? Is this? <laughs> Klus, Lubin, Lawau, Block. Okay, so I basically need, like, a bunch of forts all around this to get something. A protected nation. In it. And what are you doing? I can ask for military access. Oh my god. Me, me and Huey Long are going to be great friends. Let me tell you. We're going to be better than friends. Kingdom. They denied my protection. I made a mistake. Just, uh, just telling you that now. You've made a great mistake. The funny thing is now. I actually have an air force. So I can just blow them up. Let's see if it didn't go like in our timeline. Where it just kind of went. So yeah. It's not going, it's actually going, whoop. <laughs> Let's just go drive my pretties. I don't care if they're going to go up here and take out my stuff. I, I just want their stuff first. Russia demands Silesia. Oh, great. Really, bro? I was just in the middle of a little war. Oh, uh, yep. Yep, there it goes. There, here it comes, boys. Has the time come? Help our Prussian brothers to war. Our mobilization will be complete in 20 days. Oh, man. Our mobilization will be complete in 20... Sure, you know what? Let's do it. To war, boys. To war. We's gonna need to fight quite a lot of men. Uh, some people are still coming in, so no worries. The forces are ready. Time to topple government. No more government. The workers of the world unite. Fall of Budapest. Everything's just kind of falling apart at the seams. Everything's just coming together all at once. And, uh, I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there goes the North German Confederation. They ain't looking like they're gonna survive, let me tell you. Austria does not look good either, but something tells me Russia is not gonna win. Come on, you guys have we and encircled. Thank you. Thank you. Vienna has fallen, and now they get to focus on them, but... <gasps> I got puppets! Oh yeah, let's go. That was worth it. That was completely worth it. Look, I even got Slovakia. And I even got Hungary as well. So the Hungarians are actually alive. Yay. And now we get to just wait on the Germans. Because if the Germans fall, then we have a whole fallback line we can go on. Still waiting. Yeah, they, they just made cancer. Oh, God. Oh, Italy got Oceania. Why? Why did you people do this? What is wrong with you? But they've secured most of Europe, basically. Except Bulgaria. Bulgaria is still my friend. Come on. Finally. Are we about... <gasps> we finally did it. Afghanistan is done. Yay. Oh, my. That took a long ass time. Anyway. But yeah, my empire has basically secured most of the Middle East. Still, not, not at all. I could justify a normal war goal on these guys. Oh. 
that's what we had to wait for. Oh, well, I sent my whole army back. So that was fun. I just had to wait a while. Hold on. Gonna need to kill these guys, boys. Yep, the fall of Constantinople. And now I think we got even more puppets. The Byzantium Empire. Why is why why are they a democracy? The Sublime Ottoman Empire. They are also a democracy. And uh, these guys, which are just vanguards. <laughs> They're just socialists. They're the right ideology. What is going on? Oh, I see. They were about to kill me too. Okay, you know what? I, f I don't feel any remorse for what I'm about to do. They, were, they want to murder me as well. That's great. The problem is, I do have quite a lot of bunkers. And I'm kind of worried because I think they're going to probably call in my puppets or get my puppets involved in some way, and I do not have anything to defend them with. Oh, they just declared war on me. Silly man just declared war on me. Oh, fuck. Wait a minute. Uh-oh. Hold on. Sweden just... I thought Sweden joined. There was a sign of Sweden, and I was like, no! Don't do this to me! All right. All right, hold on, hold on. We, we could probably get some juicy encirclements here. <laughs> yep. Hi, Romania. Do you want to join, too? Regardless, I'm going to make you join, Romania. Encirclement done. Die now, partner. Fall of Berlin, baby. Let's go. Berlin ain't making it tonight. We're eating good tonight in Berlin. Let's go. Oh, finally. Jeez, that... Doo -doo -doo. Time to join that, uh, this little war. You don't have a choice, pal. What, what the fuck is this? Hold on. I'm gonna need to do some order in the courts here. Hold on. Give me a sec. You also involved the national... No, you're not. Okay. Hold on. I'm gonna need to teach Spain a lesson on what not to do when uh, Russia is here. And I'm gonna show them a really nice lesson of what not to do when Russia is here. And it's something called Don't Fuck With Russia. Oh, yeah, we also defeated Portugal. Oh, my God. I can start satelliting a bunch of people. Oh, man. One war score satellite. China, too. All right, I'm gonna puppet Portugal. Portugal has been puppeted. Guinea, Basso, and the rest. We are now in uh we are now in africa we've spread the revolution to africa here ain't that just as lenin intended and now we can finally go to south america and fight argentina because this is the last guy that we need to actually kill <gasps> we're done oh my god all right oh time to Gonna cause a massive lag train. There we are. So before this forces me into something else, because I'm pretty sure it's still on a peace deal. The homie. I'm not even gonna care. Anyway, I'm done. So <laughs> what did we do? We united all of Europe, and we also have a puppet, which is Argentina. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this kind of content, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you so much for every for your support. And uh, I'm gonna be real. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna fucking fall asleep and edit this video for tomorrow, which today is Monday, so yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.